everyone hope you're all well it's me again tony Derrick here in the wakefield studio hoping that you're all going to tune in every single day and come and catch some inspiration fingers crossed if you are not a subscriber don't forget to click that subscribe button you will get notified of all the notifications when we're live there is a little bell as well which lets you know half an hour before we go live so you can watch and never miss a show. For those of you who are maybe tuning in for the first time, my name is Tony Derrick. I have this lovely studio in Wakefield where we have a shop uh, when we're allowed to open it. We have this fabulous studio and it's just a lovely place to come and visit normally and get some inspiration. But if you can't get to us, which is fine, you can catch us here on YouTube most days, one o'clock and three o'clock. It might not always be me, but there'll always be somebody here giving you some inspiration. Cheer you up, make you smile, then you can take it away and do as you please. If you're not on our Eureka fan page, please join that page too. Um, it's a lovely place to also get that further inspiration and also we get asked often, has anybody done any cards using this stamp or this die? And then the design team can point you in the right direction. We have lots of albums with finished makes in there. And we have that QR code as well, which um, takes you to all the tuition that we've done over on YouTube. Some of the QR codes don't load anything at the moment, and that's because we have no staff, unfortunately. But as soon as we're back up and running, we will um, get them loaded on for you. So hi Enid, Anne, Charlotte, Wendy, Elaine, Christine. I like to say hi to you all. I would be here all day though. There is a lot of you on. So Rosie, Marilyn, Linda. So before I get into a demonstration, just a quick one. We're still fighting through all of the orders. So if you ordered more than one and you've only got one, the others are on their way eventually. You know where you just can't see light at the end of the tunnel? You scroll down, you scroll down, and you scroll down. And you keep scrolling. You're like, is it going to get any shorter? <laughs> So that's the, that's the scenario we are in at the moment. However, we are working over the weekend too to get them out the door. Um, so it'll be a week on sun this Sunday. It will have been a week and we're still not anywhere near. We're over half of the orders out the door. So please be patient. Um, I never expected it to do as well as it did, if I'm completely honest. Um, overwhelmed is um, an understatement really, but you know we are getting through them. Um, and as of Monday, when I'm... Here, I'll get Simon to give you a quick update as to where we're at with it all. So maybe two thirds or three quarters of the way through. We live in hope, but I promise you they will all get out the door as quickly as we can. So thanks for your patience on that. I know a lot of you have got your goodies, um, you know, so absolutely brilliant. Um, but if you are waiting patiently, I am appreciative of that. So let's do some crafting today. Oh, thank, uh, thank you, Sandra. Sandra, is she on? Sandra, an amazing show. I managed to catch two minutes of it, sweetheart. I have it recorded, so I will watch it later. I hope you did well. Um, that'll be my downtime tonight to watch your show. So well done, sweetheart. The design team told me you smashed it, so well done. So um, anything else to tell you about? No, let's craft. So in today's studio, I'm going to use the demos that I was going to use live on air, but the product sold out again, which is brilliant. So these are good... good um, problems to have aren't they so i'm going to use the you make me so happy die which is this super large one here which you saw me demonstrate yesterday i'm going to use this one in a technique and i'm also going to use the embossing folders and i'm going to do the demo that i never got finished in the show um, because i think i think a lot of you will really like it. it's a really pretty finish so some of the work has been done so i apologize but if you don't have the products i'm using in show please don't be off put by that you will have a stamp and a large word die in your stash where you can repeat this sort of design okay oh one thing i did need to tell you about national craft month is march okay so i don't know if you've seen on my facebook page and all of our social media platforms um i'm doing some coloring classes water coloring classes on Saturday mornings, 10 till 11.30, every Saturday morning throughout the month of March. Now, I just feel like it'd just be great if maybe you haven't picked up that brush or maybe you do come for the social side of things and you see your friends. I'm just going to put the overhead on top of my hands and I'll talk and I'll have a coffee and hopefully you will be doing the same at home and then we can all share our makes over on the Eureka fan page. Um, I have been asked relentless for classes and private classes and your shop shut and can you do a class online I'm happy to pay and that's all going to well but to be honest with you I honestly do not have the time with TV, TV commitments, um, helping other brands as you know, um, stu life studio here, 
uh, there's just so much going on homeschooling so I wouldn't want to do classes and not give it a hundred percent because I can't give a hundred percent so what I've decided to do is those three uh, watercolouring ones every Saturday throughout the whole of March uh, because I do miss my classes if I'm completely honest but it's encouragement for you to um, interact share with others maybe it's a new genre that you want to craft and try um, you know, you don't have to have my products to join in. It's absolutely free. You just come along on the day, it'd be like you do here, and we'll just sit and have a crafty hour and a half, and we'll create a little masterpiece that hopefully you'll be super proud of, uh, whether it be a sunset, a poppy field, uh, a lavender field. Very, very simple, very, very basic. But, you know, until you pick up that brush, you're not going to know if you enjoy it. So I do encourage you to come along and join in the fun. It is a bit of fun. If you don't like it, it can go in the bin. Not that I tell you to put it in the bin because I would hate for anybody to do that. But really, if you don't like what you've done, it is a piece of card. So I hope that's OK. So um, and then hopefully throughout the summer months when things start to ease a little bit or, you know, restrictions get lifted a little bit, then maybe my time will get uh, shifted a little bit where we can sort of do some classes and things like that but at this moment in time i can't do any classes i can't commit unfortunately i know, I know you all get it so let's do some crafting now so what i've done is you see this pretty design here so this is that lovely stamp that we had in that box now if you bought the box you will have the stamp and, re and replicate this card completely if you haven't all you need is sort of a floral design um, stamp and all i did was i just inked it up in black on this piece of white cardstock and i colored it in watercolors now if you're not a watercolor fan you can do it with your alcohol markers pens pencils go ash whatever you've got going on so that's all i've done okay so i've had to skip that part because this demo is from yesterday so i've got a little bit of a cheat so to get ahead so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my die cutting plates here now if you are not a stamper and want to do this technique you can use patterned paper it works equally as well so i'm just going to take the cat patterned stamped image that i've made myself here and the large large die that we've got going on here i'm going to use the die cut element from the words now if i didn't use the outline it would just punch you make me so happy into this cardstock so i could make a shaker card or something like that but i actually want the design to come out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop the outline on i'm going to try and get it as centralized as i possibly can and what we're going to create is a little hidden message card now probably most of you are aware of how these work but for those of you that are not this is a great way of creating something quite um, quite fun because you can't actually see it until you tilt the card. But I'm going to chop it up a little bit as well today. I'm going to sort of show you a little bit of ways to, if you do already do this technique, how to change it up a little bit and make it a little bit different to the norm. So I'm just going to take this down. Now I am using a little bit of washi tape. I hope it doesn't tear my card because that's my focal point. So I'm just going to run this through my machine. So it has to be a die that's going to cut out the page. If you've got one, I've just run this one through. Have you got your cup of tea or a cup of coffee? <laughs> Lindsay's put, you need to do some classes to make us pay. For instead of giving everything for free, you have a family to feed. <laughs> no, honestly, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. We make enough money. I'm happy to have um, my bills paid and have maybe a few holidays when we're allowed. I don't really bother about making much more than that. So, anyway. So, and you are all my friends. So, there we go. So you can see now we've got that obviously that big hole in our patterned cardstock there. So you can see where this is going. It's really important that you keep all your pieces on your mat here. OK, it's really, really important. So in fact, I'm going to leave them on my mat because I, I am destined to lose a piece. So let's just push that to one side. So let's move on to the next stage of the card. So all I'm going to do here is the recess from that patterned paper. I'm going to stick onto this piece of cardstock here. Can we see? So we've got a, a gold and then we've got a black. OK, so let's get this stuck down. I'm just using some wet glue here. I'm just going to go around, try and get all of those elements, make sure they're stuck firmly down. Oh, 
on our fab. We'll get some glue everywhere else. It looks like a few of you have been treating yourself to the paints. Well done. Uh, those paints will work perfectly for our colouring um, in March, Saturday mornings. Those will work beautifully. But if you have got more advanced paints, because I know some of you do actually watercolour in your spare time as well, that's brilliant. But you don't have to have the posh stuff to join in. So, and I'm a big believer of that. I have all the posh stuff in my craft room next door and it never gets touched. One, yes, I don't have the time, but these ones work equally as well. So there it is. So there we go. So you can see there we have, oh, it's upside down, but not that it matters. So there we go. So you can see we've got our lovely design stuck onto that gold mirror card. So what I've done is I took the outline die, I'll just take it off. So this outline die here, I've cr I cut several times, just the outline. And I cut it in whites and pinks and yellows. And I picked green, yellow and pink because they were the colours that were in my um, sort of design that I coloured in. So it's more of an orangey yellow than just a yellow. But that's all I've got in my stash. So. so there we go. So what I did was I cut two of each. Now initially I did cut one of each, but you, you didn't quite get the look I was looking for. So what I'm trying to achieve basically is like a rainbow so when we tilt our card to the side you get like a rainbow effect and I think Jennifer Maguire's done this about a year or so ago and um, but I think this die will work really really well with this sort of design so I've got a white one and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the white one back in okay and what we're going to do is we're going to build our layers up so let's pop this white one back in so I'm just going to stick this one flat in that hole And then that will level off our card as if nothing's been taken out. So it won't sort of like dip or anything like that. So just pop this back in our hole. Like so. It's such a fun technique, this. It really is. So pop it back in its hole, stick it down. Give it a second to grab. And then you've got your sort of your hole where we've taken our design out there. Can we see that there? So just make sure it sticks everywhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in colours. So I could do a multicolour like a pink, a green, a yellow or vice versa. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two pink together, two yellow together, two green together and then stick them all together. So let's just do that. It looks quite good as well if you do like a zebra stack underneath. So I'm doing like a rainbow effect here. But if you do like black, white, black, white, black, white, that looks super cool as well. So I'm just going to stick this seamlessly on top. So I've got two pink ones. And then we'll go with our two green ones. So I'll stick our green one on top. So this glue is for, is the art glitter. Now, I know a few people use this one, Chloe being one of them, but it's actually an American brand. She supplies it. We supply it as well. Um, but it's actually an American brand. Uh, and it's really, really good. And it's just the one I've got to hand. I've got several glues on my trolley at the side of me. So it's whatever works really for you. So I'll stack that green one on there. And then our next green one. So it's sort of like creating one of those, do you remember those cakes that had the layers in when you cut into them? So we've got our two layers of green.
so you can see let me grab we've also already got our uh, a two pink layers and a green layer you can't quite see it yet but it will come to fruition when we've got it all built together and then let's get our two yellows on top now i would say if, i think this is about uh 160 gsm now i have a feeling if i'd have used 300 i won't have to cut two so my card was a little bit thinner, so you might have a thicker cardstock at home where you don't have to cut it twice, like me. Um, so we'll just play it by ear, see what you've got in your stash. So it's really important, if you can, to get them lined up the best you can. Just get a better look. And then we get our next yellow one on top. I'm just pinching them all the legs together to make sure we've got that sort of even balance on there. And then lastly, on top, I'm going to pop my white one back on top. So I've created a sandwich. I've put the white one at the bottom. I've got all of my coloured pieces, and then I'm going to pop the white one on top, okay? probably could get away with skipping this white one actually but I was just scared it were going to look a bit flimsy but um, you'll know with what sort of cardstock you're going to be using at home so I've got sort of that lovely 3d block of color hopefully you'll be able to see that there there we go yellow pink green and then a white on top so just give that a good old push down Angel cake, yes, that's the one, thank you. So then all we're gonna do then is we're gonna stick this block on top of that block. Can we see here? Okay, so we've created a, like a 3D embellishment on our card, which is solid. I'm going to sit this back on the hole and get it lined up best I can so it looks like there was no hole ever there. Push it down. So you can see that rainbow effect from the side there. That's an incredible shot to show you how amazing it's going to look. So I'm just going to budge it over a little bit because I'm slightly out there. That's the only thing with that glue, it's fast drying. If you don't get it quite right straight away, you've had it. <laughs> Bear that in mind. And budget over a little bit, please. Yeah, it's fast drying, but it's a good one. So there we go. So there we have our lovely, lovely sort of 3D um, element on there, should we call it. Yeah, I think there's so many glues on the market, isn't there, that it's really hard to decide. I don't have a personal favourite, if I'm completely honest. I use my own. I use this one. There isn't one that I've found which I think um, I'm going to use this all the time. But I think it's good to have different glues in your stash because we do so many different things as crafters anyway. So there we go. So now's the time to build our card back, okay? I'm just going to bring in my plates here. Can we see this here? And all I'm going to do I'm sticking it out of there. I don't know. Oh yeah, I do need my glue, don't I? Let's just take it off here first. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the outline. Can you see that here? I'll just leave that E on there. So when you come to take the design here, look, what happens when you pop it on? Can we see that there? It's sort of hidden, isn't it? brilliant but it's not hidden until we've put all these pieces back in so i mean you could leave it like that if you want to just pop your o back in and your p's and your a's 
Let's do that actually, just to see what it looks like. Because it might look better. I don't know. So let's pop some glue on our parts here. Trying to get it on all of the so it don't get any lift anywhere. Only time I'm, I'm quiet, <laughs> but you're all thinking this is great. <laughs> yeah, look, it, see, it just shows Enid likes the cosmic shimmer glue. I've not tried that one. So let's just pop this straight on top. And again, this is a fast drying glue, so be quick. we have all of those pieces let's pop our left center pieces back into our letters first to see if we like it um so let's pop this into the center of our air oh now if you cut this die in black now and paper piece the pieces in black it would look so cool but the the whole point of the card really is the hidden message. So we'll see how it goes. I'm, I might get as far as the hidden message. We'll see. So let's pop the A in there. And see now I've got the A in happy. Let's get the two P's. I do like the paper piece. I'm a big fan. So there's the P and there's that P. Make sure you paper piece the elements back in the right place. Don't get them mixed up because your design won't match. And then the next P. And then have we got any more? Oh, the O in the U. Pin flare, yeah, I use pin flare as well. I like, I really like that. I'm not sure if I want to. Let's just, let's just grab a letter and pop it in and have a look. So, I'm just going to grab... Do you think I should paper piece it back in and have it as a hidden message or do you think I should leave it white? There we go. Let me know. What do you think? I'll have a drink of my tea while you all decide. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to leave it. I will leave it. But you get the idea. So you paper piece those pieces back in and it's a hidden message. It's not till you tilt it. And I'm not going to tilt this one right until I've got it onto my card. So, let's pop this one. I'm going to pop it on a card. Let's not. I think you know, you can you can no leave it. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave it because if you pop the elements in, you do get that hidden message. So let's pop this onto our card here, and then we'll show you sort of three D effect you get with the building of those colours behind. I'll just give that a second to grab. Don't forget to save all the letters that fall out of here though, okay, because they can be used on the inside. I could paper piece those on the inside if you wanted to or on the envelope so it coordinates. I'm just giving this a second to grab. In fact, I'll just pop it under my mat there. So let's get rid of all of these pieces on here for now while that's drying. Oh, I've got an A there. I'll pop that in. Centre of an A. You'll not see them until you um
I've got that, you know, that little tub I've got down the side with those flowers in. I've got letters and ooh, letters and all sorts in there, just in case I ever need to do a quick demo on TV or something. <laughs> Look here, they're all just build it, building up. <laughs> so I've got the gold ones and all the letters in there, just in case somebody says to me, like they do on TV, can you just, you've got four minutes, can you just throw something together? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman, here I am. So let me just show you. Oh, let's pop that A in there. But you're all screaming at you, me going, your A is missing, your A is missing. There we go. So let's just show you for can we get a side to show the side, the sort of the cake, coloured cake. And just see if we can get a nice shot for you, because it's a really attractive card from all angles. So I do encourage you to get those scraps out of your um, stash and maybe build your words up, maybe. I'm just going to get a really good shot for you. There we go. Can we see that there? See, it's sort of like a pretty card from all angles. Let's just show you it from the front. Has anybody done this sort of card before? I, I know a lot. I've seen a few of you doing it on our um eureka fan page but if you haven't tried it and it may be a new technique that you've not seen before today so you tilt, tilt it to the side can you see there you get sort of that lovely lovely design coming through really really pretty just push it down keep, keep going really really lovely so let's move on so you get the idea if you want it to be completely hidden and somebody's got to move it around like one of those funny cards that send your eyes funny then paper piece those letters back in because it, it does give a really cool look. So let's set that one aside for now. It's a heavy card with all those layers. I don't want to post that one. So let me just swap out the plates here and show you an embossing one I was going to do. So let's find the... There we go. So I started a demo, didn't I, on TV? And I'm going to use a different embossing folder because um, I started one with one and you've seen it. So let's move on to a different one. Let's just sort out my mats here lovely card oh brilliant give it a go guys it's totally inexpensive and you don't have to have that die it'll work with any biggish size so I'll just grab my um, embossing folder here and I'm going to use the peony one and I did start with a black ink pad didn't I? and I'm going to do the same so I'm going to ink both sides and then I can decide which I like the best so I'm just going to take a black ink pad here and I'm just going to rub it over the ink pad And pick up as much detail as you can on there and I'm also going to run it over this side too try and get lots of colour on there push it onto your embossing folder twist it a little bit get that colour on So hopefully that'll come through quite nice. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some white everyday white cardstock in there, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to pop this into our card here. And we're just going to shut it up. And then I'm just going to pop it on my mat with the two pieces on top. And then our plate on top. And hopefully I've got my plates right because it's a guess every time I do it because I never remember. quite cool card that one I would probably pop some sequins around or some gems or something make it a little bit sparkly but it's different isn't it it's really nice didn't like that did it is it because I've got my magnetic sheet in I'm just going to turn it round see if it likes it this way many plates in there clearly that's what I was saying about you know don't force it let's take out oh let's take out the magnetic shim and then we'll run it through again
That feels better. So never force them because you'll just break your machine and then it makes the embossing folder really expensive when your machine goes pop. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah. So then let's just. Well, let's have a look what we've got, what's happened. So there we have this lovely, lovely design there on that side. So you can see what's happened there as I've like pushed it through the machine. It's sort of shifted a little bit, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. And then here is the back one also quite attractive to do into that so i'm just going to go with it it has shifted a little bit you know with the attempt to get it through the machine but you know it's okay so now i'm just going to take an ink pad and i'm going to go pink and green pink and green and yellow keep adding the colors let's get just some sponge daubers here so, pink. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the pink and I'm just going to dust some of the pink onto the flowers, very very lightly, just like so, just to um, take it away from the um, solid black. So you can see we're just enhancing that flower a little bit. So all of the flowers. I have got one that I've done ahead of time with the other embossing folder. So you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like when it is done properly through your machine and when it is finished completely. So I'm adding pink to all the little flowers. That looks like it could be a flower. And that one there. And then we'll swap out for a green. And just add a bit of green. And then we'll just add a little bit of yellow to the centres of those flowers. That's just the one. Add a bit of yellow to those as well, just to make them look more orange, so they're a little bit different. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is just set these aside. I'm just going to sort of jazz it up a little bit with some sparkle. So I'm just going to take my glue, and I'm just going to in the veins or along some of the lines. I'm just going to add a little bit of this glue, and I'm going to put some sparkle on here. Now you can make it as sparkly. As you want really there are really no rules i wouldn't suggest you over sparkle though because you're sort of going to drown out the beauty of the embossing folder but a little bit of sparkle is really nice so i'm just adding to those leaves and petals so maybe where i would add a shadow if i was coloring them really And then very quickly, I'm being as quick as I can because this glue is probably not the right glue. It's going to dry really quickly and not give me chance, but. There we go. I know it's had some sparkles, so I'll just grab a sheet of card. But if you have this glitter, be very careful. It is like glass.
You must be losing a lot of postage if you said no postage for second and third items. Um, what can I say? That's how it is. Let me just show you that one now. So when it dries, that white... Oh, see what I mean? It's quite sharp, that, that glitter. I like it, but, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with it. So there you go. Can you see that there? So when that glitter actually dries back clear, um, you get this beautiful sort of effect here. So let's just get this on a card, and I'll just show you one that I finished, which was going to be the one for TV with a different embossing board. And then you can see the results, really, because it's always nice to see things in different colourways and how different they look when you swap out the embossing folder or swap out a bit of colour or something like that. I've got a black and gold piece like the other one. Now, because it's got that glitter on there, I'm not risking my hands. Been there, so I'm just going to put my plates on top. Let that dry a second. It only takes literally a second. So, um. Gosh, can Audrey? Yes, you can clean your embossing folders with soap. Anything you want to, you cannot harm them. Um, they are probably one of the pieces of kit that's really going to be hard to disrupt. Um, yeah, you can put them in water and things like that. They're absolutely fine. I just spray them with water and mop up any ink with tissue. Let's get this onto our card front. Yeah, and just going back to the orders, if you have had multiple orders, that's where our website is just not up to speed with, it don't connect you all together. So if you made five orders that day, all at different times, we're having to physically scroll through to see if that person's ordered any other items. As you can imagine, that's why if you've had one and you ordered three, we've obviously missed it. We're trying to, we're trying to save postage ourselves and not women in a day, um, Royal Mail. Um, but all the same. It's just, it's just a task and a half, but we will get through it, I promise you. So when you stick this down, look at this, it looks incredible. I'm just giving it a second to grab. Now, if you have that glitter on your mat like that and you do this with your hand, it's going to get stuck in your hand and you're going to be saying to whoever you live with or on your own, I need some tweezers. It sticks in your hand like glass. So make sure... Um, this is no criticism of the, gl the glitter itself, because I absolutely love the glitter, but you just have to be extra careful, okay? Just dust it off. And then if you're dusting it onto a floor, don't walk around bare feet. Um, you're setting yourself up there. So here's one I've just done now with that beautiful pea in it. And this is the one which has got a sentiment on, which I, which I did with that daisy. So you can see, when it dries, it looks absolutely stunning. I'll just tilt this one too. See that there? So they look really, really pretty with that extra detail of adding the colour with a little um, sponge dauber and then adding some sparkle. So shall we hold all of the cards up? Which one do you like today then? Or do you like them both? You'll have to, you'll have to let me know. So in fact, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to pop them all on best I can so we can get a nice picture. No, it's going to be difficult with two, but there we go. So the Glitter Myra is the Anna Marie, it's crushed ice. We have it on our website, uh, or I think we have it on our website. If you just go to FBL on the search engine and pop in, sorry it won't be in there because I took them off because of the fail. I'll just move out of the way for our picture. But if you put glitter into the search engine, it'll bring up all the glitters on the website. Or alternatively, Anna Marie, it's hers, so she'll probably have some on her website as well. It's a big old jar, it does last a long time. Um, but yeah, just need to be extra careful, everyone, with it. I've been caught out a few times, that's all. And I got a message from a friend as well saying, you know, it's stuck in my hand, I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm like, oh my God. So there we go. So do you like those? Both stunning. Love them both. Oh, brilliant. So the hidden message is a great alternative to chop up those big large dies, because I sometimes struggle with the large word dies. So that's a great alternative, and then your embossing folder as well. If you haven't got our embossing folder, that's absolutely fine. Maybe you've got an embossing folder from another company. You can do that technique with this with your embossing folders, okay? So have the courage to give these things a go. They don't bite. They don't jump off the table and say, hey, you've used me wrong. 
um, just give them a go. They actually look like wallpaper, don't they? Very, very pretty. I'm pleased with those today. So that's it for me today. I'm not back with you on Saturday or Sunday, unfortunately, because I'm going to be doing the orders. And then Simon is back with you on Monday at one o'clock, okay? Um, and I think he's going to be working on his lovely owls. And then I'm back with you on Tuesday at three o'clock. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely evening. Stay connected. Get on that Eureka fan page. Go and say hi. Post a make. You know, have the courage to post your makes. It's lovely. We love to see them all. And the ladies and gents that are on there are absolutely amazing. We adore them. We all love each other. We are one big family. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cosy. And I'll see you all later. Have a fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye.